AI. AI. You didn't even know you weren't talking to me right now. I know. I didn't. Is it you? Is it me? <laughs> it may not be you. <laughs> <laughs> well, what are you what are you seeing on the lending oh side? Oh gosh. I, I don't know that it's just, you know, it's not necessarily lending. It's changing us as mm -hmm. a human population. It's changing business. Yeah. You know, in so many different ways. So I mean I almost feel like AI is obviously still just getting started and it's just getting faster and it's getting deeper. So from a business standpoint, um, there's so many different ways that real estate agents and lenders in particular that can leverage it, you know. I think there's some pros and cons to it. So I'm interested to know how are you leveraging it as a real estate agent? You know what's interesting is I know a gentleman, Jim Carter, mm -hmm. um, that was, you know, in the influencer world and email campaigns and social and all that stuff. And probably about a year ago, he dove into anything and everything AI, and that's just his specialty now. Yeah. Like he's an AI nutcase. <laughs> nutcase. It's a good friend of mine. The just, term of endearment, Jim. Totally. I love Jim. <laughs> and he is salt to the earth when it comes down to it. And so I met him in Mastermind seven years ago. And we had some conversations back in September, October, and we ended up retaining him on a monthly basis and he works directly with Air, with Garrett nice. and they're working on all these weird AI things in the background that mm -hmm. sometimes they frighten the shit out of me. Mm -hmm. But we're looking at all the things just to speed up backside processes. Yes, that's so, how we're using it. Um, well, you know, we started out and they built, have you gone down the road of building your own chatbot? Not yet. Okay. It's fascinating what Garrett's learned on feeding it. Yeah the yes. information yes. and going through things. So yeah. he and Jim spent months building one chat bot, feeding it my book, my podcast, my videos, like everything it knows about me. Yeah. So what it's done is it's actually sped things up for me. So um, when I do an Instagram post, I'm looking mm -hmm. at the video, I'll just type into my chat bot, like the diving board. Yeah. And I'm like, I need five things that yeah. talks about flipping houses, blah, blah, blah. Right. And it'll give me five bullet points and write the post. Right. But what's so great about that is it was your thought that you poured yes. into it. And I think this is their big miss. I don't think people kind of understand that you, you develop a relationship with the AI. The right? computer. Chat GPT, like yeah. the computer, right? And you have to feed it. Yes. You know, and, and so then it gets to know our talk, our minds, our, our book, whatever that is. Then, yes. Then once you've fed it, now it will... Right produce information that's from your from head, my head as opposed to or just from, from my the, experience from the world right and that's a big differentiator yep. and I think a lot of people don't realize that yeah. that's the key in my yeah. experience because it doesn't write like me it doesn't talk like no. me it doesn't think like me no. but if we can figure out how to get it to do that which is exactly what you just did yep. then it creates efficiency yeah <clears throat> the other piece that I found a couple of weeks ago is it actually partly because I got into a tiff with a seller. A lot of verbal communication, not a lot of follow-up in writing. And, okay. and, you know, he said, she said at the end. I'm like, yeah. all right. So I started talking to Jim McGarrett. I'm like, hey, you know, the what can I utilize in AI to record conversations, going to transcribe notes, those types of yeah. things. And so um, we were going through it, and so Jim recommended Otter. Mm -hmm. And so we started using Otter AI. The cool thing is that it, it um, connects with their calendar. And so when you go into a meeting, it's ready to record yeah. and transcribe the meeting. So I started doing this on everything. The cool part is, is I also use a another app called Record a Call. Mm -hmm. So I'll record my calls, and then I'll throw it into AI. It'll transcribe it. Mm -hmm. The better thing with Otter you got to go through a couple iterations, but just the speed of the conversation, right? So I have an hour strategy session with somebody. Right. My mind is usually numb when I'm done. Yeah. You literally can go into the transcription and into Otter's AI and say, please draft me a follow-up email yep. based on this conversation. And it does it about 90% perfect. Yeah. Yep. And then you're done. Yeah. Right? So it's like in two minutes, you can do the follow-up from all the thoughts in your head without thinking about it. Yeah. And put it out there. Or... You just have the call that you can put in notes and send an email going, hey, just confirming our verbal conversation. Sure. This is what we talked about, yeah. right? Especially important because, like you said, a lot is said in an hour and we'll forget. We're just humans. Right. We'll, we'll forget. So I use Otter as well. Same thing. This yep. is exactly how I use it. I do so many meetings yes. that, you know, i, I got to keep them straight. And so it is such a tool, a valuable tool yeah. that creates efficiency that allows us to be 
where we need to be yep. and not, you know, just being bogged down by manually typing our notes <laughs> yeah, you know, right. or writing them out or next actions. It just expedites So what's that. awesome is that on Friday mornings, you know, I meet with 15 agents from Real that, that are my, my agents in my network and we're going through training and different things. So in Zoom, I went through a training on a property. It screenshotted everything that I did in Zoom is in the transcript. Yep. Everything is screenshotted. Wow. All the images. Very that I, cool. So all of it's in the transcript. And when I got there, what screens I was showing, what I was going no through. Way. Yes. Oh my gosh. I was like, what the hell? What the hell, man? Oh my God. The funnier thing is when you get on Zoom now, because I've recommended this, yeah. there's like 20 otter note takes <laughs> in, the, in the call. But what's cool is that when I come out, that recording is automatic. So I don't think about it. It's yeah. in my calendar for auto. It goes to Tammy and Tammy takes the training and sends a recap email to yeah. the agents when we're done. So great. And so they've got the call, they've got the yeah. training to go back on. You know, it's it gives you to do's, it gives you pain points, it gives you all the yeah. things. Now, it's not perfect, no. so you still have to go through and read through it. Yeah. Um, that's one, one version that we're using. Yeah. And then where I really started using it is in the social scheduling. Yeah. These guys are pumping out content faster than I can keep up with. Yeah. And when you recorded a video, you know, six months ago. Yeah. So I literally like on Saturdays, I go through my posting schedule and I use Otter. I play a video, I let it transcribe it, and then I tell it to help me with the post. <laughs> so I don't have to sit there and type yes. and think about where I'm directing because I, I spend so much time yeah. overthinking. Yes. I just Agreed. need a diving board to tweak. Messaging. So to use it as a filter. Yes. to take the thoughts that are in your head and bring them to life with words. Yes. And the key though is that you can't just like automatically use that. Yep. You, you, it's just like you said, it's just a foundation and then you can, you know, make it your own. You ready for the really scary part yeah. of AI? This, this is what Garrett and Jim have been working on. Go ahead, have a conversation. Hey, this is Steve D. Valentine. What strategy are we working on today? I want to buy an investment property, but I don't have any money. You don't need a ton of money to start. Consider buying a home as an owner occupant with 3% down, then turn it into a rental property the next year. It's about finding creative ways to leverage what you have. Does that help? Ask yes. Me something else. What kind of credit score do I have to have to buy a house? Typically, you want a credit score of at least 620 for a conventional loan. For FHA loans, you might get away with 580. But remember, the higher your score, the better your interest rates and terms will be. Did that help? Oh, my God. This is, like, so cool. What? And so... And so Last week, we had a conversation with it, and it bought a house. <laughs> I can only imagine the mortgage lending world would have a compliance conniption because of our world is so highly compliant. I wonder how this works, but look, it's coming. Well, it's, it's, <laughs> it's coming. coming or not. So but. what's fascinating about this was the test case that Jim did with it was a guy that has a huge coaching business uh -huh. and his membership was like every 90 days would drop off new people, right? So yeah. you're trying to keep this membership. Ah. So what he did is he went and trained this guy's AI like it was like 120,000 hours or something of training in that thing that he showed us. Yeah, oh yeah, for like charts. Every, like, every private coaching conversation he's had, like they uploaded everything and it takes feeds from YouTube. So it's not like you have to go upload it. It's, it's scraping scrape. every day oh for your gosh. stuff. And it's learning your voice, it's learning your responses, learning all the things. He's a little annoying. Um, he needs a little help. He needs to like scale it back a little. <laughs> So what he found- He meaning you? Me, my digital version. <laughs> you're kind of annoying. It's so crazy because it's your voice. I know, I But know. it's not your voice. I know, I know. It's close enough. Scary. I know, scary. So what's fascinating about it though was he said that ever since they did that and you watch his version of this, people are having conversations with him at all hours of the day. Yeah. And they're staying on longer because they literally, he's like, we have people having hour long text conversations with an AI chat because they have access to him and they understand yeah. it's not him, but they're getting the same stuff 
just like having a conversation with a coach and it's increased his longevity of a client because of it because they have access to them anytime. It's not like they couldn't go out and find the answers on YouTube themselves for him or you, <laughs> but it's now putting it all into mm -hmm. this ask a question, get the answer, because now it's right going now. to do the search. Now it's going to go find the collateral yeah. on- Or it's at least going to give you ideas or point you yeah. to a podcast or something of that nature where it's like, hey, you know, for this, go to Kelly's YouTube video and it'll give yeah. you the link. Yeah. And it's pulling from all of your library of things that you've said 9,000 times repeatedly. Talk about efficiency. <laughs> right? Yeah. Wow. So as I grow my network and we're working on this piece, it's an added bonus for them to, you have access to everything in my head for the last 20 years yeah. in this thing, yeah. right? And if it, if it gets weird, then call me. <laughs> but yeah. until then, it's gonna at least give you some diving boards and some resources. Are you using this with buyers and sellers at this point? Not yet. Or is it just with Not yet. I'm, I'm not using coaching. it with anybody yet. We're playing with it right now just okay. to kind of test it. But it's interesting as we start going down like uh, the road of our strategies, right? So our five proven seller strategies and going through each one of those, he went back in and reformatted to talk about what each strategy is so we defined it so when you said, I want to buy an investment property, it's going through to the strategy that yeah. we use best yeah. for that. And Some people are just looking yeah. at the surface level of what it does yeah. versus actually what it will do. Yeah. Uh, it's really fascinating because Tammy was an early adopter of it, but she is a prompting genius, right? So she'll go down the road of asking it questions, doing it this, tell me to do this. And next thing you know, like she did one for the business it was, a, she answered 160 questions over a two week period of time, the AI gave it. Oh my gosh. And it took like 24 hours for it to spit out a six month marketing plan, including posts, including all the things to do. It was a full on biz, six month business plan based on her prompting. Wow. I, th I think the interesting part in this is that it depends on the opinion, right? So a lot of people are all up in arms about AI, whether it's taking jobs or doing mm -hmm. things. What's your opinion? Is it more of an efficiency thing than it is replacing people or? Um, I think that it creates efficiency, which can help to reduce costs, but it also now allows us to do things that AI can't do, which is the people business. Right. So if we can spend more time with yep. our clients and our real estate partners and really yep. helping them solve for whatever it is, um, that's, that's the lane I wanna be in. I don't want to you know, be doing email this like if you can automate it automate it so we can again be in the human business yep. that's my opinion yep. so yeah um, i think it's <clears throat> i think it's a piece where owning it it's not about you can't outsource relationship building right, right? exactly but you can give somebody the tools and the things and the information when and where it's needed yeah. and one of the things that i'm really excited about this you know for for real and for the agents is like my brain is with you, right? Yeah. Like, let's dive into it. Like, just think of it as Google, yeah. and it gives them some ability to jump into those things, and it's stuff that I've said over and over right. and over again, yes. right? Yes. And so <laughs> it's kind of fascinating just to see where the efficiency. So I'm a big proponent in where can I buy time, mm -hmm. right? So awesome. it's fascinating about it when somebody looks at things, like from a business operation standpoint, right? Garrett has spent a lot of time training the AI to make all of our lives more efficient, right? Mm -hmm. So it's not about replacing Garrett. Right. It's about how much more efficient is Garrett? How much more efficient am I like in my posting? Yeah. How much time did I buy back every week right. by transcribing, doing that and moving it through versus how much time would it take right. me to write? And it creates consistency right. because I would guess that you aren't posting consistent because no. you get frustrated, you Stop can't think of it, boom, 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 and now you are. So again, that's creating efficiency and leveraging time and yeah. Awesome. What a great conversation and all the uses <laughs> and I think Delphi, that- Delphi, I'm so getting it. <laughs> well, thanks for joining and you know what? Dive into this AI stuff. Don't look at his replacement tools, look at his efficiency tools and it's actually taking all the mundane BS that we do in the background and it keeps us more in front of people, which is actually where we serve the best. Okay. All right, till next time, peace out.